I want to talk to you on the subject national demon. There are some people in our life or in our country who represent the demonic world. Demons do not have to bewitch every Ghanaian, every American or every British. But what they do is that they can be in one person against the entire country. And until a nation identifies such kind of a person and deal with the matter, we will keep struggling, we will keep worried, we will keep fighting over unnecessary issues. National demons. Mark 5 verse 1, it talks about a man who was mad. This is what Jesus Christ has got into now. He has entered into the city of Gadarenes. And something strange is going to happen. Something very profound must be noted over this particular passage of the scripture. And I want you to take your time and listen carefully. Jesus has gotten into town for the first time in the land of the Gadarians, like Ghanaians. And he's been welcomed by one man who carries demons with unclean spirits who welcomes our visitors there are certain people in our, in our country in our society who welcomes everything that comes straight into the nation and we don't need a national gathering or a national red carpet to welcome certain people this one person is meeting jesus christ this is one man at night, he will get into the top of the, of the mountain. And what he does is he cries on top of the nation, on top of the town. There are things that this man does. There are mystery behind what, why he is crying. At night when everybody is asleep, they think this man is a madman. Forget about him. This is not his dwelling place. He dwells in the tomb. He is just always on the mountain and he's shouting. And yet, this is the first man to welcome the Messiah, the salvation. Already, it has been stated, according to the book of Genesis 49, verse 19, God, before Jesus Christ was born, God, who is the father of the Gadarians, received a prophecy from his own father that you are going to a time is going to come a troop is going to be against you jesus wasn't born by then we are talking about the old testament at the moment jesus wasn't born mary wasn't born joseph wasn't born and a prophecy came concerning god that god you are going to be be, be a nation and while you reside as a nation um a troop will come against you people will come against you what kind of troop was that this man at the at at at, at, at the bond of gadarians was having a, a legend within him the demon within this man was about six thousand and over demons now in the new testament jesus christ has come and he has entered into a, the land of a gadarian and the first person to meet him was a madman who was uh, 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 embedded with demons. He is the man that is taking all the, uh, 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 let me see, spiritual aspect of the Gadarians. What do I mean? We are in a nation, and every nation that is listening to me, whatever place you are listening to me from, there could be a man who carry all the demons of the entire nation. God has already, uh, Jacob has prophesied to G Gadarians, assuming Gadarians are Ghanaians. And he said to Ghanaians, a troop will come against you. And a, 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 a soldier will come, a band will be against you. A time is going to come, you're going to have a troop attack. And Jesus Christ came and a man met Jesus Christ. And that man has a troop in him. A troop of demons in him meanwhile the demons that were in the man was prophesied that these demons are going to be against god which is the entire gadarians but they got, uh, uh, the demons are in one man here the troop is not in one man the troop that was prophesied 
by the, uh, the father of God, Jacob, is now joining in one person who is now operating the national demon inside of him. And this man, if you see him, you call him a madman. He doesn't know what he's doing. No, he knows what he's doing. The demons that were, that were to attack the nation has come to dwell in one person. What do I mean to say? We are in a nation that for all we know, what we are going through is a demon that has been embedded in one person. Who could that person be? Who should that person be? In your family, it could be that eh, all the, the battles you are having is in one person. All the things you are going through, you are facing in this life, is in one, way, one person. A demon is going to be against God. A troop is going to be against God. Now Jesus Christ has come. He has gotten into the land of the Gadarians. And a troop met him in one man. He draws on top of the city, on mountains. These people are in a higher position, yet demonic. They cry on the nation. They make decisions. People are not really careful about them. I'm talking about a national demon here. We are all Ghanaians. For all you know, there is a man somewhere who is our troop, who has embedded all our troop. Our enemies are in that man. The enemy doesn't have to bewitch every Ghanaian, but they can bewitch one man. And we, have, we the Ghanaians, we are going to feel the impact of what the man will be doing. The impact and the resource of that troop that is in the man. God has received a prophecy that a troop is going to come against you. But look at this here. Today, the troop is not in the troop of people. The troop is in one person. And he asked him, what is thy name? And he answered, saying, my name is Legend, for we are many. My name is Legend. We are troop. We are many. This is the troop that was prophesied by Jacob. The Bible said Jesus Christ got to the territory of the Gadarians. And then Genesis 49 verse 19, he is saying that Jacob said to his son, a troop will come against you. Now his son grew up and became the father of the Gadarians. And Jesus Christ finally got there. And when Jesus Christ got there, he met the troop. But the troop was not in many people. The troop was in one person. The troop was in one person. One person. Who is the, 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 I mean, the emblem of a national demon, the commanding center? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So if any good thing is coming into this country, this person meets that good thing. Salvation is coming into the country and the national demon, the man that carried the troop of demons, is meeting Jesus Christ on behalf of the entire nation. So Jesus, before you go out there to preach to anybody to heal, I am the troop that resides in this Gadarians. Salvation can come for Ghanaians, but we should be very careful. Maybe there is a man somewhere. Who welcomes all the good deeds that come into this country? And if we are not careful, we might be thinking we are dealing with an, a, a single person, but it's a national demon. We make no use of our resources. Why? Because even when Jesus Christ is coming, this is the first person. He is a representation of the demons in this country. And yet, he draws on the mountain. He cried on top of the mountain. And we receive the sound of it. This is a demon talking to Jesus. He said, don't sack me from this country. Which country? You might think it's the country of Gadarians. Yes. The man represents the entire Gadarians. The madman is sitting here. Represent the entire Ghanaians. You see, we need to mystically look into this Meta very clear and very well. This passage of the scripture is talking about a man here who everybody sees to be mad, and yet he stands in for the country. There could be a man in our nation, in a country, in a family, in a school, in an organization, 
Who is the custodian of all what the nation goes through? Who is the custodian of all? Is the cradle of all the all the mayhem that is going on? How are we able to detect as a nation, as a people of God? If there is any Gadarian who can go back into the time of Jacob when their father was receiving a prophecy from Jacob that God, a troop, will come against you. And these people were there, no troop has come. Yet the troop is this man who said, my name is Legend. We are many. We are many. We are many. We are many. Hallelujah. Amen. So before Jesus Christ got to the shore and he needed to get down off the ship and the, the, the troop have to meet Jesus Christ. On behalf of the entire nation, while people are eating and doing those things and then people are in business, people are in farms, people are at the bank, people are in the classroom, people are doing business, people are getting married. There is one man standing by the seaside speaking to the national savior on behalf of the nation. Meeting, doing a welcoming service. There is a troop in one man who dwells against the nation. It's time the nation has to stand up and pray. He said, my name is Le Legend, for we are many. And he says to Jesus Christ, don't sack me from this country. The me you see, I am a country. The man you see us in him, he, I mean, he's a, he's a country. So now move us from the countryman to the country sea. Imagine a legend is over 6,000 foot soldiers, 6,000 troops, all dwelling in one person. The nation have got many people. Where are those people? Why are they not having these people? Why are these demons not de delegating other, other stuff, uh, spirits into this kind of people? They all choose to be in one person. Ghanaians, we are over 40 million. But it could be that the troop against this country is in one man. And today we are going to pray that anybody who is open and has allowed himself to be used by the devil against this country must receive deliverance by the spirit of the living God. A national demon. We are not going to end this topic here. We will keep on talking about this thing. God, a troop will come against you. The troop came against God. Jesus Christ came. He met that man who carries the troop. Who custodes, who harbors, who houses the troop. On behalf of the entire nation. There is somebody in your life. Somebody in the family. You see, sometimes in the family, everybody will be doing well. And there is one man who brings depth in that family. There is one man, whenever time you hear about him, you hear negative matters. The moment you hear about him, everybody has to contribute something. Then you should know that the demon doesn't have to be with everybody, but he has to be with one person. And use that person against us. And wait on to you if that person is on top of the mountain. I mean, if that person is a leader, if that person is on top, he will cry demon on us. We are not, we can't be free. We can never be free until we get out from this national demon. Abusiano how? Abusiano problem na yedi ya guloso. Tuti school musa ya se unu ya we. Wako ya diye. Abusiani we. Esi we di we to tura se mo. Odi eni. One di eni mgoa siye bre. Yen timi mgoa biye ni masi beti. Oli yogun eni masi ebe ke abusiani. Sano ma yon so satan hon hon. God. An omo be swari ya tia God eno. Omo be tine ni pa ba akope mo. Se ni pa ba akope non so. Wetebe poso.
Catch the issue, say. Into me, feel my identity. I am a national demon. This is my area. Don't move me out of here. I am a national demon. I am a Ghanaian demon. I'm not just, I'm not just, I'm not, not just trying to, 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 to be rich somebody or to, 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 to be in one person. I am in this person on behalf of the nation. We want to a country whose leader is a demon. Whose leader holds that particular part of the demonic world. Can we investigate among us as Ghanaians and find out where is the truth? Where is the truth? Where is the truth? There are some certain countries, their truth comes physically. And there are certain countries, their troop dwells in their leaders. Get me right. Certain countries, their troop dwell in their leaders. Who dwells on the mountain? Who make decisions? Such countries, you don't need China to fight you. No, no, no. Just by having that kind of a person. That's all. That's all. Somebody who carried the troop, the prophetic troop, the demonic troop, is my prayer. This nation will be healed one day. A day is going to come, the Ghanaian youth will not be afraid. The day is going to come, this country will be free. We will accept the Lordship of Jesus Christ. We will be delivered. We are not going to bow our heads to any dollar again. A day is going to come, the city will stand. A day is going to come, we will be wise enough to manage our resources. A day is going to come, the future is going to be bright. There is going to be light at the end of the tunnel. Today the demon will meet Jesus Christ. A day is going to come in your family, when everything will seem better again. But on total, you need to identify who is this man that holds the troop of our nation. You might think he's bewitching one person. Blame me that person. Blame me one person. He keeps us disgracing us. No, no, no. He is the commanding center of the city. The troop are dwelling inside him. As Ghanaians, this is our land. This is where we were born and raised. What can we do and what can we say? Instead of complaining, why don't we pray? Instead of making way out, why don't we pray? If we, instead of going on strike and all of you, why don't we pray? Why don't we speak to God and be wise enough to know this is the source of the pattern of our hour? Our, 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 our struggle as a country. My name is Bishop Morris Ibaosa. You can call me the High Spirit. Today I came your way to enlighten you, to give you illumination about certain things. The national demon. The national demon. I pray, O oh Lord, for our country. I wish for your living. Lay your hands. Lay your hands. Lay your hands. Lay your hands. Amen. Touch this country once again. Amen. Revive this country in the name of Jesus. I pray.